Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So today we are going to discuss the union budget 2019-2020 and we are doing it into parts because we are doing the analysis for from exam point of view from the point of view of RBA grade B preparations. So let's just start uh, with the taxation part because it's the most important part of that uh, uh, union budget right for the exams. So it was presented by uh, the minister. Union Minister of Finance for Finance Nirmala Sitharaman on 5th of July 2019 instead of a briefcase. Uh, the budget was presented uh, in a Bahi Khata and she was the second woman finance minister. The first one was Indira Gandhi. Okay. The first and the most important point. See students, the corporate tax rate is 30%. Uh, if the annual turnover is more than 400 crore uh, rupees. And if it is less than 400 crore, this rate is corporate tax rate is 25%. So this limit was used to be 250 crores. But now this limit has been raised to 400 crores. So if a company's turnover is less than 400 crores, it needs to pay 25% corporate tax instead of 30%. Okay. So that's a very important point. What is the corporate tax rate? 25% up to if the turnover is less than 400 crore. Uh, beyond that, it is 30%. Okay. So, uh, big announcement for electric vehicles. Uh, additional tax deductions for uh, for the purchase of uh, electric vehicle is 1.5 lakh uh, rupee per annum, right? So, the interest paid on the loan taken for the purchase of electric vehicles 1.5 lakh of additional deduction is available right uh, for the startup students the angel tax is an important concept see students when the startups like flipkart like uh, uh, you can say mantra uh, paytm whenever they raise the money right suppose i say that uh, let's say uh, i need let's say 5 crore rupees to build bank exams today a bigger company but that's not the true value of bank exams today we do not have that many resources uh, that many assets but why somebody wants to see suppose somebody comes to me and says see i want to invest five crore rupees in your company right and uh, i'll buy let's say 40 percent or let's say 50 percent of your company 50 percent will be yours and just do your business and i want you to be a really big player right i say okay but he purchased the company the 50 percent share of the company for five crore rupees while the actual value of assets may be less than 20 lakh rupees right so why uh, he is paying that much of money that's what the income tax officials they were asking why uh, that particular investor is paying that much money because he invested in the team because he feel like in the future this startup this uh, if i invest 5 crore in the startup it will become 500 crore so that's what the investor is thinking but the income tax officials they were not understanding this fact and according to them if the value of asset is 20 lakh rupee why somebody is buying that 20 lakh rupee asset for 5 crore so you need to pay the capital gain tax that was known as the angel tax because Whenever somebody starts a business, starts a startup and, and he gets a investment in the beginning, that money is known as an angel investment. That is why this particular, uh, you know, tax is known as the angel tax. So uh, that problem is solved now. Uh, there will be no scrutiny will be made in respect to the valuation of share. In the share valuation, there will be no such problem. There will be e-verification getting your startup registered is a difficult process now there is e-verification right and there will be no inquiry no scrutiny there will be no problems to the startups at all okay affordable housing additional uh, deduction of rupees 1.5 lakh for interest paid on loans valued 45 lakhs up to 45 lakhs taken up to 31st of march 2020 so if you have taken uh, a housing loan of up to 45 lakh uh, before 31st of March 2020, you can claim additional deduction of 1.5 lakh on the interest paid. Okay. So the total benefit is around 7 lakh rupees over the loan period of 15 years, right? 
सो सेवन लाख रुपीज का बेनिफिट अप टू फॉर दिफ्टीन ईयर पीरियड सो दैट इज एन यू नो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बाय अ हाउस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक एन हाउसिंग लोन यू शुड टेक इट बिफोर थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो एन बी एफ सीज सो इंटरेस्ट ऑन सर्टन बैड एंड डाउटफुल डेट्स बाय सी इफ फॉर एन एन बी एफ सी इफ द इंटरेस्ट इज नॉट एक्चुअली रिसीव दे नीड नॉट टू मैंशन दैट ऑन देयर स्टेटमेंट राइट सो इंटरेस्ट ऑन सर्टन बैड डाउटफुल डेट्स बाय डिपॉजिट टेकिंग एज वेल एज सम नॉन डिपॉजिट टेकिंग एन बी एफ सी टू बी टैक्स इन द ईयर इन विच द इंटरेस्ट इज एक्चुअली रिसीव्ड ऑन द अक्रूवल बेसिस वेन एवर द इंटरेस्ट इज इंटरेस्ट इज रिसीव्ड इन दैट पीरियड ओनली इट शुड बी टैक्सड ओके the ifsc the international finance uh, financial services center in the gift city gujarat 100% profit link deduction for next 10 year so tax holiday 100% tax holiday in any 10 year block so you can select yourself for in the next 15 years the companies they can select any 10 year for the exemptions right so the exemptions is available to the companies and mutual funds from dividend distribution tax from current and the accumulated incomes right <coughs> so also the exemption to interest payment on loan taken to the non resident is also available right so security transaction tax that was really really important concept uh, it was in the news as well last year and we were expecting this change so what's happening just before the expiry of the contract there were no buyers right so now the security transaction tax is restricted to the difference between the settlement and the strike price only the settlement and the strike price not the complete value okay so it is only the difference between settlement and the strike price not the strike price only okay not only the strike price the complete strike price instead of complete strike price it is a difference between the settlement price and the strike price okay so only on that particular difference that is the money actually that person is making the uh, the security transaction tax is charged okay uh, the make in india so increase in basic custom duty on cashew pvc tiles auto parts marble slabs optical fiber cable cctv cameras okay and certain electronic items are now manufactured in india are not exempted from custom duty that's a make in india uh, whatever uh, products are manufactured in india on that particular products the custom duties has been raised uh, the 5% custom duties will be imposed on the imported books in india books are tax free but on imported books 5% basic custom duty is levied okay so reduction in the custom duty on raw materials such as fuels for nuclear power plants input for artificial kidney and disposable sterilized dialyzer capital goods requirement for manufacturing and specific electronic goods okay so uh, the custom duty has been uh, reduced in that particular sector so in defense exemption will be given to defense equipments not manufactured in india from basic custom duty okay uh, one important thing increase in the price in the tax uh, tax rate of petrol and diesel 1 rupee extra is charged on petrol and diesel so it will be more expensive and then one more important thing the custom duty on gold has been increased from 10% to 12 and a half% now more people will smuggle the gold from dubai <laughs> so uh, it is 3700 cheaper in dubai so uh, the <laughs> the legacy dispute resolution scheme a lot of cases the taxation cases were pending so for that uh, those pending cases for the vat case service tax and vat cases the legacy dispute resolution scheme has been introduced okay to solve the excise service tax cases quickly so tax simplification and ease of living now you can file your income tax return by mentioning your aadhar card there is no need of pan so if you do not have pan still you can file your income tax return using your aadhar number pre filing of income tax returns now uh, whenever you fill uh, you are going to fill your income tax return the government is uh, whenever you fill your uh, your aadhar number the government is having a, a lot of your details your name address and all so it is pre filled you just need to pay your tax okay 
faceless e uh, e assessment that was actually required the income tax officials the gst officials they were harassing the uh, the taxpayers the honest taxpayers whenever there was any uh, you know uh, discrepancy uh, discrepancy between uh, uh, the you know the tax to be paid by the uh, taxpayer and his accounts uh, whenever there was an assessment uh, whenever the uh, the taxpayer and the income tax officer or the gst inspector they were uh, sitting face to face uh, that's a norm that they were get uh, charging the bribes they were taking the bribes and that's true everybody is aware about it but that's a really brave step by the modi government now everything will be online same as suppose you file a case against us uh, i mean you raise a ticket it will be same there there will be a faceless e, e assessment you will get everything in your email and you need to answer everything via email there is no face to face interaction okay between the taxpayer and the department uh push to the digital payment now one more important thing now any business cannot withdraw more than 2% uh that's sorry for that now any business uh, who is withdrawing more than 1 crore rupees in a year he need to pay 2% tds on that additional 2% tds <clears throat> because wherever there is there is cash transactions there is tax evasion now the businesses with tax uh, annual turnover of more than 50 crores they need to offer the digital payment systems to their uh, customers without uh, asking them to pay for any merchant discount rates any charges without asking them to pay any charges the rbi and the merchants they need to bear the cost so mega inv investment in the sunrise and the technological uh, the advanced technological areas schemes to invite global companies to set up mega manufacturing plants in areas such as sem semiconductor fabrication solar photo uh, uh, voltaic cell computer servers laptops lithium storage batteries so investment linked in income tax exemptions to be provided along with the indirect tax benefits so to produce semiconductor fa fabrication solar photo voltaic cells and all all these products it products tax exemptions to be provided okay so that's all for the taxation part uh <coughs> the tax slabs were uh, kept unchanged no change in that what were the the basic changes the important changes i have already shared the pdf is available the links are available in the description please install the bank exams today mobile app and take a free rbi grade b course it's available on the bank exams today mobile app or you can go to learn.bankexamstoday.com learn.bankexamstoday.com so that's all for today students please uh make a comment in the description in case you are unable to understand anything um i'll share the rest of the videos in in the coming days okay then i'll be sharing the economic survey with you so that's all for today please like this video and subscribe the channel so thank you and have a very nice day bye